A murder case is back in court today. The man accused of killing a homeless man and burying the body in his backyard faced a judge today. Police say Joseph Kopp was staying at Frank Deannis's Seven Hills home when Deannis allegedly killed him back in March. Deannis posted bond and was released from jail last week. But as News Channel 5's John Kosick found out, Frank Deannis is headed right back to jail, John. Yeah, temporarily with his attorney's consent. Deannis left the courtroom in handcuffs this afternoon. He needed to go back into custody so he could be sent away for a psychological evaluation. In court today, the judge ruled in favor of sending Deannis to North Coast Behavioral Health Care for a 20 day psychological evaluation. This so the court can determine if the 44 year old Seven Hills man is competent to stand trial. Deannis, of course, is charged with shooting 58 year old Joseph Kopp earlier this year and burying his body in the backyard. The request for the 20 day stay came from the initial psychologist who met with Deannis. That usually occurs, Your Honor, when uh, the examining doctor is on the fence as to the individual's competency and wants the opportunity to have uh, individuals in an inpatient competency see the defendant over a long period of time, uh, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, if Deannis is found competent, he will be released again on his present bond, most likely. Deannis's name has also come up, of course, in regards to the 22-year-old murder case of Amy Mihaljevic. This attorney tells us there has been no new contact between Bay Village investigators and his client since Deannis was released on bond. We'll hear more from him about that tonight at 6. Live in the newsroom, John Kasich, News Channel 5.